Hello students, welcome to this new session and today in this session uh, I'll be presenting to you a case on COVID in pregnancy. Now COVID in pregnancy, uh, it, can, it can take place in uh, various uh, levels of pregnancy at various gestational ages and in different forms and different severity. So today's uh, whole session is based on these different scenarios on the guidelines basically uh, produced by ICMR obviously uh, we'll be discussing more about the Indian scenario uh, it has impacted the entire world but every patient responds in a different way but uh, we'll be focused basically on Indian guidelines so ICMR produced a uh, very nice guidelines on uh, COVID and pregnancy which also have included in the in the session and in, uh, separately that they'll be given to you so today's case will be uh, discussed as per ICMR guidelines and uh, like I said, we are producing different case scenarios. The entire detailed history. Now, COVID-19 in pregnancy can come to you as short case. Uh, the, to, to come as a long case, uh, there is not much in this. So mostly it will come to you as a short case. And in the same way, I have uh, made the history and the viva like it will be asked to you as in case of a short case. The <coughs> other important thing is that <coughs> if you want to know exactly how to take the complete total antenatal history in a long case there is a separate session on it and you should go through it and i have included it as a, a you know a baseline uh, case study so that you should know how to present basically a case to the examiner usually the examiner cuts you short in between after the history of present pregnancy or history of presenting illness and uh, jumps on the diagnosis but nevertheless if, suppose in any case the examiner does ask you the entire history you should know and that is the reason why there is a separate class on that and i'm not going to take that entire uh, you know negative and entire uh, irrelevant history again and again in every session so let's focus on covid and covid 19 in pregnancy so my patient x wife of y aged uh, so and so years resident of so and so place is uh, a banker by profession is a second gravida uh, para 1 l1 a0 now at four months amenorrhea has come to opd today with a history of exposure to covid positive patient yesterday night in some social gathering she is apprehensive regarding her further course of pregnancy and she has taken only one shot of vaccination that was five months back after which she conceived so uh, after this uh, oh, uh, okay Dr. Ram, so let's assume that this patient is 17 weeks pregnant. All right. So what are the dangers of contracting COVID at this stage? Can you tell me this? So uh, COVID-19, uh, uh, as far as pregnancy is concerned, it's not a very high risk uh, situation per se for contracting the disease. But at, uh, when a, a patient is pregnant, the immune system goes a little down and as a result of which she's more vulnerable to contracting any viral illness in uh, pregnancy or any bacterial illness in pregnancy. That is why she's at a, a comparatively higher risk of contracting this infection. But this infection per se is neither teratogenic as per the pool data, nor does it increase the chances of abortions in pregnancy as has been seen over the years till now. So uh, basically fetal risks are comparatively less more so are the maternal risks. All right. What other significant points should be asked to such a patient to understand the risk of exposure? So we should be uh, we should ask that you know for how long was she in conversation or uh, she was in touch with this patient who uh, who was later on known to be COVID positive, whether they were having uh, they were wearing masks or not at the time of exposure, whether the other patient who was. Uh, uh, Con at conversation with this patient was showing any signs and symptoms was she coughing sneezing very often and uh, socially what distance were they on so these will tell you a little bit about how much viral load has gone into her body 